Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your June 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Sagittarius, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Sagittarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius? What is going on? Okay. Okay, so this, this is a huge change for you. All right, so you're trying to process an ending. And I feel like you're, you're doing very well here. Problem is, the past person who, who did you wrong, who did you dirty, and disappointed you is still watching you. So I feel like you got you a, a bit of a spy on your hands. Dare I say stalker. So they're still, they still got eyes on you. You're manifesting new. I feel like you're trying to be happy. You're trying to create your own happiness here. You're going through a huge transition in your life because of this person and what they have done. And I feel like you're doing a great job at that. But they're still spying on you. They're still watching you. And you may tell me, secret, listen, I blocked them from all social media. Okay, well, that's fine. But there are other ways to find out information about people besides their social media. And besides that, they can make fake accounts and get on there anyway. So, <clears throat> yeah. Somehow, some way, they could be asking other people about you. They, if they live close by, they could be driving past your house. Right? Where there's a will, there's a way. And this one has a will to see what you're doing. So, yeah. Page of Swords, it's air energy. They can't let go of the thought of forever with you. They still want a long-term commitment with you here, Sagittarius. That is their goal. And they certainly don't want you manifesting new energies into your life or continuing on and, and trying to be happy. Not without them. Not without them. So they are still the goal in their mind with you is a long-term commitment. They still have every hope and faith in the world that they're going to spend their life with you. Ten of Pentacles, that is Earth energy, right? So you see the young couple dancing at their wedding. You see the old man that represents longevity, right? You see the dogs, that's loyalty. You see the little kid right there. That's family. And then all of these beautiful pinnacles, all of these beautiful blessings representing abundance. And it's stable and it's secure. That's what they want with you. But they know that you're moving on. They know that you are leaving them behind. And they cannot wrap their heads around that. They cannot accept that. They cannot accept that. And that's why they're keeping an eye on you. That's why they're still watching you. They can't accept that you're moving on because I see that you're moving on. I see that you're manifesting new. And you're trying to find peace and you're trying to find um, more positive energy, right? You're trying to find um, a relationship that isn't going to bring you down because this person brought you down with their lies we have the six of swords this is air energy so you 
um, became very greedy with your emotions towards this individual. Sorry about that. That was Big Ted getting a big old drink of water. All right, so I can see this card two different ways. First of all, you became very greedy with your emotions with this person. This is known as the miser of the tarot. So you're holding back emotion. You've put a guard up in front of your heart. Four of Pentacles, that's more earth energy. And you became closed off to this person. They, on the other hand, have become very greedy with you. They want to keep you to themselves. They want to hold on tight to you. So they're having a hard time moving on. And they're having a hard time watching you move on and be happy. All right. Okay, so Sagittarius, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind that these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so you assign the roles as you wish. The problem with this, this person is they were not 100% honest with you. They were, they, were, um, they were a taker. So they took what they could get from the situation. And I feel like you kind of got sick of it. And they, 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 had, they couldn't tell you the truth. There was dishonest communication here. This is a shady individual. And they're struggling. Especially their ego is struggling to see you happy and moving on. Right? I, and now they're watching you. So are you dealing with a little bit of a narcissist? That is quite possible here. Seven of Swords, this is air energy. So they, they did you wrong. They did you dirty. There was deception here. And the challenge is they disappointed you and they know that. So now they regret this deception. And they know that for a lot of you, you're not going to allow them back in because they really screwed up. I mean, they, they really did a number. And they brought your energy down, highly disappointed you. You thought that they were something that they were not, but they, portray, they portrayed that to you and you trusted that. What they showed you, what they wanted you to see, you thought that was the real them. Turns out that wasn't the real them. They were pretending this is the real them. And now they regret their actions here. And now they know they disappointed you. And the challenge is to make up for that disappointment. I don't know if they can. Five of Cups, this is water energy. Your advice, move on and be happy. Move on and enjoy some wish fulfillment because you have been manifesting Okay, Nine of Cups, this is one of the happier cards in the tarot. This is wish fulfillment. This is happiness. Your advice? The best thing you could do right now, Sagittarius, is keep moving and be happy. And your focus is manifesting new energies. And right now, in, in your state of mind, you are very powerfully manifesting and creating what you want in your life. You have the sword for communication, the wand for passion, the cup for love, the pinnacle for success. And you're pulling from air, fire, water, earth, and you're creating and conjuring your own reality. And you're manifesting new energies, better relationships, maybe better financial situations. You're, you are making absolutely 100% sure that you are going to be happy and you're going to be happy without this individual. So you are seeing things completely differently. You are changing. You are transforming. This, this experience with this person has changed you. There was an ending here. You'll be dealing with the Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. There was an ending here. But, you know, this sadness, this experience has has made you see things so much differently and is putting you on a path 
to creating a whole brand new beginning for yourself in every aspect of your life. And that is a beautiful thing. So you are undergoing your own transformation. This person is stuck. They're having a hard time watching you do that. They're having a hard time with this ending and they're having a hard time changing. See, this is you right now, okay? Coming through is the Queen of Pentacles energy. Coming through is the Queen of Pentacles energy. You are manifesting and creating for yourself because you know you're worth now and you know you don't deserve whatever this person did. You didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve that. But, um, and they don't want you going nowhere. They don't want you going nowhere. You, you're not selling. This Queen of Pentacles is popping up for a lot, a lot of these readings so far. I can't remember which one. Maybe both of them. Queen of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy. This person still wants your attention. This person likes attention. This person is an attention seeker. And this is why they are watching. This is why they are possibly talking to other people about you, trying to find out information because they still want attention from you. You are not giving it to them and that's what it's driving them crazy. You are happy moving on and doing your own thing and creating your new life and being happy and your success and victory in that, it's, it's kind of driving them nuts. Please clarify the death card for Sagittarius. Please clarify the death card for Sagittarius. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. They can't let go. They can't transform, but you can. You can. You're letting, you're letting this person go, and they're struggling letting you go. And it's an issue. It's an issue with this person. But you are so exhausted with dealing with this. You're ready for some happiness. You're ready for new. Right? I feel like you're going to hear from this person one way or another. Even if you have blocked them from your phone or, or social media. Maybe this they want your attention so bad that maybe they will actually sit down and handwrite a letter and put it in the mail. They want your attention that bad. They are going to get a message to you somehow. Okay. Page of uh, Wands. That is fire energy. So let us see what the romance angels have to say. This is for Sagittarius. Let us see what the romance angels have to say. This is for Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius? What is going on with Sagittarius? What is going on with Sagittarius? Yeah. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what this person wants. For you to give them another chance here. They can't shake you. They're still very much attracted to you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This has dual meanings, this attraction card. So this person still attracted to you, still does not want you to move forward without them. They want to give, they want you to give them a second chance. This is why you're going to be hearing from them. This is why they're still watching you. Okay. You, on the other hand, you are releasing this energy. Okay. It's too heavy. You're letting it go. It's, it's baggage that you don't want anymore. You are transforming and you're heading in a new direction. And you're manifesting new and you're feeling better and you're getting your happiness back and you're going to get wish fulfillment with all these beautiful manifestations that you're creating. Okay. And that's where this comes in for you. So you are going to be your new state of mind, the new way that you see things. This is going to attract positive energy to you and new love to you okay and this person right here um they 
I just, I just feel like I need to say they should have behaved differently towards you. Right? Because you're moving on and they're struggling. Really, they're struggling really hard. All right, Sagittarius, that is your mid-month reading and I hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. You can also check out my newest collaboration with Consciousness Evolution Journey. It is a soulmate conversation. And I will leave that link down below in the description box as well. Um, for the Sagittarians that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And I usually go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. You can find that information down below or in the About section of my channel. Next week, Sagittarius, I will be working on the future love reads for everybody, so check that out. You guys take very good care of yourself, and I hope you have a beautiful week and a, a great evening, and I will talk to you soon. Stay happy and stay healthy out there. Take care, and God bless.